Uh, I'm Yudan Razumni. I'm currently in the 3D Varsity Elite One program, and uh, this is my last year before I graduate. Uh, I've been a member for seven years now. In the Elite program, I've been in for, f for four years. First growing up, uh, I, was, I was playing hockey at a very young age. You know, I played hockey up until, up until grade nine at a super high level and then uh, picked up basketball at grade seven. So I was 11 or 12 years old. My dad, he played basketball in high school and so he was, uh, he was an influence for me. You know, I had the height, I had everything and uh, grade nine, I made the Team BC team and I, uh, I went to compete at nationals and that's, that's when I first started, you know, getting pushed around and being at that level, that national level in Canada, it really, really showed me that, yeah, you know, taking care of your body, you're playing a game every other day, you know, highest level in Canada, and you really just, if you don't take care of your body, you're gonna suffer. So last year we came off of a, a championship season for Rockridge, which is the first in, in, in our high school's history. My high school wasn't really a basketball high school per se, but uh, I had a, we had a really strong high school team. And, uh, you know, I had college coaches come from like, all sorts of universities, uh, local universities. I had coaches from Ontario and, and Halifax just emailing me and stuff like that and saying like, you know, you, you got some talent. That's when, I, that's when I really opened up my eyes and I said, yeah, okay, this is my goal, this is what I want to do. Coming off of that, we really expected to, to be a really, a really competitive team. And uh, with COVID getting in the way, you know, I think a lot of people stopped playing basketball. And that was one thing for me is I said like, you know, my goal is post-secondary. That's where I want to be at. That's the level I want to play. And so I can't, I can't be there without playing basketball. And so, you know, 3D has really helped me with that through these, uh, through these COVID times. And their open gyms, practices and stuff like that really, really kept my hopes up and, you know, making my dream become true. You know, playing club really opened my eyes and showed me like the talent level, the different uh, different skills they need to have to play at that next level. And coaches always like to put me up with the, with the bigger and stronger boys, the older boys. And so that really pushed me physically and mentally to really, you know, work on my game, get better, uh, make more shots, get more minutes in games, you know, uh, really just focus on being the best player that I can be. So I, I've been fortunate enough to, to be able to travel to Vegas, Los Angeles, Portland, Seattle, uh, we even went overseas and went to Portugal and played there. It was a great opportunity to get some, uh, some really good exposure. Really high level basketball taught me a lot of things, you know, how I had to become a better player and always competing with those guys really, really, sh really pushed my limits. When I came back from those tournaments, uh, you know, first day of school, uh, I just get in the gym, start shooting some threes and then, you know, I'd realize that, oh, three point line's not that far anymore, you know. I felt a little bit more natural, I felt stronger, I felt, uh, you know, superior to, to some kids who, who didn't have these opportunities. So for me personally, I, I always look at academics first. My parents always told me if I didn't have the grades, couldn't play. So yeah, that's, carried, that's carried throughout, you know, my, high, my whole high school career. And so when I look at schools, it's, it's always what kind of academic programs do they have, you know. And then, you know, coaches and teammates and location, that, that all comes after that for me. Um, 3D guys like um, Sasha, Marco, uh, George Horn, you know, Lachlan, all those guys, they've really, I played with them when I was, when I was younger and I was always on their team and stuff like that. So they've, they've really, they really pushed me in and um, that's another reason why I wanted to play post-secondary. What kind of advice would you give a kid who's kind of uh, I'd say don't give up. You know, you never know what's going to happen. Everything happens for a reason. So you're going to get a lot of yeses. You're going to get a lot of noes. Whether that be making a team or you know anything else like that. So if you just put your head down and, and grind through it, you know, good good things will happen. So.